we're back. Whether you're planning a fabulous birthday party, holiday bash, or just having a few friends over for dinner, you can make it memorable and extra special with just a little planning. Because the art of entertaining can sometimes seem overwhelming and rather intimidating, we brought in the best. In bed with Butch's own lifestyle guru, Jason Crook is back, along with the fabulous Brini Maxwell, to give us hints and tips on making any occasion extra special. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Jason, thanks for being back. Welcome to the new season. Thank Excellent. you very much. Great and to be here. Brini's joining us. Fabulous. All right, so Jason. And I wasn't really clued in on this segment, so tell us, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to talk about throwing a party, which everyone should love to do. And it's one thing that we can guarantee we can do any time of year, right? right? right, right. So from invitations, which I'll start with, which, um, you know, I'm not real big on the whole Evite electronic thing. I agree. I, yeah. It's nicer to get something that's handwritten or uh, printed or even engraved if you have plenty of time. <laughs> that's a good one. Isn't it? Uh, so we have a selection of invitations here that range from you know, drink themed parties to surprise parties. Um, there are really, really some interesting uh, ideas out there, including this one, which is a, a, a very nice retro, which you know I'm a fan of, uh, die cut style here for a wine and cheese party, which you can actually connect along with a little uh, wine charm here for the uh, invitee. Now, I think that's just darling. Good. Yeah, I really beautiful. like that one. Yeah, it's a mm -hmm. favorite of mine. Mm -hmm. um, so they're there. And then there's this, uh, this new, um, also a great idea. You, you could get your friends all in on this and have a very kitschy, campy, fun set of coasters. But at the end of the year, if everyone just invited everyone on these coaster invitations to the uh, particular events, there's birthday party, shh, it's a surprise party. Right, right. Uh, all sorts of celebration themes, uh, all on actual coasters, which becomes something that's actually got some kind of practical use for your own bar at home. That after. really is clever. Uh, uh, get a group of four friends together and send out those invitations and and all of the four friends will then have a unique set of coasters exactly. what a clever idea isn't that great <laughs> it's perfect the invitations on the back with right? just yeah the it's invitations fantastic. actually in the back and oh then you keep it so then you've got a set of coasters that's unique to your you know friends and your circle of people uh, at the end of a calendar year Beautiful. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and then for tabletop, you know, as long as you're not throwing a dinner party, I believe that there are enough options out there in the paper world that you can really make it easy on yourself with beautiful patterns, lots of great colors, really, really vibrant. And so I brought a selection. And all of this, by the way, is from Paper on Pine on the uh, at 1008 Pine Oh, Street. I love that yeah. store. Yeah. 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 And so they've really, really hooked us up with a nice selection of things that they offer there. And this is a particular selection of paper goods that they offer in really nice patterns um, so that you can make your table look really, really nice without a tremendous amount of aggravation in terms of napkins and plates and there's lots of sizes from dinner to cocktail to luncheonette. You know that's a really nice idea and I have a good suggestion if you're entertaining and you need to use regular plates but you don't have enough to serve on uh, simply go to a thrift shop and buy white plates there then wash them all up and serve on them and then just donate them right back afterwards. Oh that is a great idea. Mm -hmm. wow. Excellent. Why didn't I think of that? That's <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, and along the lines of, of pieces that you can actually use in paper, you could even have a viewing party maybe for In Bed with Butch or for the Brini DVD series and mm -hmm. serve up some popcorn in these nice little retro popcorn wow. servers. That's, those are so cute. Aren't they great? They really are. Yeah. And you know, why not serve other things in that? You know, there's a, a restaurant in New York that serves popcorn shrimp in popcorn containers. Excellent. Yeah, isn't that a clever Carry idea? Carry the theme oh through. And then we have some glassware, because of course a party's not a party without some good drinks. Right. Um, so I brought along uh, some of the Fag Shop's fig signature Fag Lush collection, which are these lovely color splash martinis that come equipped with their own. Yeah, they're, um, they're delightful, but they don't strike me as being particularly dishwasher safe. But they're, they are. They just pop off with a little elastic touch. Oh, look. Well, that's <laughs> That's so clever. So then you dishwasher have it. Dishwasher safe. Dishwasher safe. And... Well, gentle cycle washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or just pick up the extras, right? That's right. That's true. <laughs> no, that's very clever. Yeah, how do you get these back? Oh, don't even bother. It just stretches <laughs> yeah. right. The glasses are beautiful, Joseph. There you go. There. Really there. Yeah, yeah, so that's, nice. that's a really, really nice line. Then Hello World, down on the corner of 12th and Pine, has these lovely sets, which are matching rocks and shooter sets in some lovely uh, patterns. And the rocks glass box actually comes packaged with a deck of cards oh that's uh, coordinating as well. Yeah, this um, is so wonderful. Really Nice. Yeah, They're pretty these retro. Are very, these are very uh, early 1970s looking. They go with my outfit. Yeah. They do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I love those. Those are wonderful. Yeah. And I love the idea of them coming with cards because that gives you something to do during the party. 
Absolutely, which mm -hmm. is the next thing that I wanted to mention, which is playing games. Oh, right. Uh, and of course, parties, uh, there are all kinds of games that you can play, and there are a lot of options out there. So we brought along a collection of games here from mm -hmm. drinking games in coasters to uh, the Napoleon Dynamite, which is a huge cult following, has now produced sort of a low technology version of Dance Dance Revolution. Right. Uh, and then we, we can do a throwback to a more modern version of Pin the Tail on the Donkey, which I call Pin the Junk on the Hunk. <clears throat> now, easy now. Green, green is a petite flower. Now, don't, you know. So to demonstrate, okay. I thought we would get you as our volunteer. Okay. A willing volunteer, I'm sure. All right, yeah, sure. Yes. Sure, sure. All okay. right. So I'm going to blindfold you, yes. I guess. Yes, you are? Okay. All right, well, come over here. Okay. Oh, Do all I? Right. All right. There we go. Now, you tell me if you can see. I can't. Well, I'm closing my eyes as well. I, right. I promise. Well, okay. We have to trust but you. But I, I can't see anyway. But I'll, I'll, Good. Okay. All okay. right, he's all yours. Okay. Now, um, I've gotten a, a little, um, oh wait, I don't think that's the one Butch wanted. Here we go. Uh, a little uh, toy for you. And it is, uh, I'm just going to turn you around here. Your turn in the game of pin the hunk on the junk if you move forward. Where's the, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Keep going. Oh my god. All right. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna say there. Excellent. Oh, well. Worth a good a 35 points. Yeah. Oh, I see. Fabulous, <laughs> oh my God. So as you can imagine, after having a few cocktails and selecting the appropriate game for yeah. your guests, then yeah. you can have a really good time for entertainment as well um, at your next event. Dr. Jason, what's the Napoleon Dynamite? That, that's, like, that's like that big craze that's going on now, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, so you know they have the Dance Dance Revolution electronically. Right. Yeah. Uh, this is just a low-tech version, which is actually a mat that you spread out. It comes with a CD and an instruction kit, oh, and it okay. actually gives you all the foot positions. Oh, okay. Okay. Only you'll be doing the dance of the Napoleon Dynamite <laughs> movie rather than one you. of the more traditional oh, okay. dances from the other games, yeah. well, but lots of fun. Well, that's very clever. Yeah. Lots of fun. Isn't yeah. that fun? It looks like you have so many lovely games here. Suck my duck? <laughs> Is that best with, uh, well, Peking or pressed? Pressed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! All right. Oh, wow. Uh, well, this is lots of fun. Okay, well, thank you, Jason. Thank you very much Absolutely. for coming back. It's Green, my pleasure. My love. Thank, thank you so much. You, okay, that is the show. I'd like to thank my very special guest in the studio, Tamperini Maxwell. Let's have a round for Greeny. Um, yeah, for uh, making the trip down to Philadelphia. Also, Jason Crook uh, for helping me make this season premiere even more fabulous. Thanks, Jason. Okay.